Hey everybody, Logan here. Today's unboxing, this is an interesting one. To be honest, I never thought, never, never thought I'd see Walmart come out with their own brand of Nintendo Switch controllers? Yeah. Game on. So, if you guys have ever been to Walmart, I'm sure you have, you've seen this brand on. Honestly, you might have noticed it, the, the mat that I do all my unboxings on, the gray one, is that brand as well. I got it, it's the only place I was able to find such a large um, desk mat or whatever you want to call it for such a low price. So I picked that up and I think the only other thing that I have is a uh, is a small mount that I have on my back porch for a, a tiny little TV, a small TV out there. That's it, that's it. But I've seen a number of accessories from everything from phones to TVs to all kinds of electronics with that brand. Yeah, there's TVs. <sighs> Needless to say, I did some research. They apparently, not so good, let's put it that way. But this, these just hit. 1688, if I'm not mistaken. A Switch Pro wired controller just says game controller with a 10 foot cable. Can this be any good? It's a Walmart brand, right? So it's got to be crap. Or is it? Let's unbox it, test it, find out. Welcome to Rip and Data Gaming, the channel where Logan will show you everything. So here we go. As I was stating earlier, this gray mat is the same brand. And I don't usually buy too much of Walmart's on brand. I don't really know too much about who makes them. But this is for the Switch, compatible with Nintendo Switch, Switch Lite, Switch OLED. Now that I don't know how it would be compatible with Switch Lite. So we're gonna take a look at that. Because if it's wired, where's it gonna plug into on the Switch Lite? Into the charge dock, but then it won't plug into the... Yeah, I, it, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So I think that might be a mistake. But if we look at the back, built in two speed vibration, that's one thing you don't see a lot with third-party controllers, they don't usually have vibration unless they're really, really expensive, like the $60 and up for some odd reason. You might some find some here and there, but precision 3D motion controls, rapid fire turbo button, audio chat. Now that is really only used for like one or two games. Otherwise you have to use the, the app, which I still think is nonsense. Supports, there you go, switch. Switch Lite, Switch OLED, and PC. But like I said, uh, I've said many times, and people have asked me, does it work on PC? I, d I don't care. I don't do PC here. This is all about the Switch. This is a Switch controller. If it says PC, sure, give it a shot. Uh, the basics. Take your gaming to the next level with our fam full, sorry, fully compatible Nintendo Switch game controller precision 3D controls with built-in vibration motors and adjustable turbo functionality will enhance your entire game experience. You can even plug your headset in via 3.5 millimeter port and miss none of the audio action. Game on. Built-in dual vibration motors, 3.5 audio jack, USB C sight controller cable. Okay. I've never seen that before. Uh, quick start guide included. So, okay. I don't need a little knife for this. Oh. Already torn up the box. I like how they keep it on brand, though. They, they use that Switch Red. 
Okay, so the box is pretty simple. Has anybody else noticed that Walmart's sticking a lot of these kind of stickers on a lot of the products that they order? Now, it's funny, just to stray off topic, I'm seeing stickers like this on the Ninja Turtles action figures, and it's under the plastic, but the Target ones don't have it. Rather strange. If anybody knows anything about that, let me know. I'd really be interested in finding out. Okay, so there's nothing else in here. This is the control. Now I'm going to tell you 100%. This is exactly the exact same controller. The exact same controller that I found. Um, oh, I forget where it was. It was at a local game store that I covered just a few months ago. It's slightly different in terms of colors and whatnot, but yeah, this is this is the exact same controller. So that's the reset. Uh, I don't have that controller anymore, if that tells you anything. I wasn't a big fan of it. Um, yeah, it's the exact same controller. To the T. So I can tell you right now, it's okay. Um, I'm still going to test it. I'm still going to do a little video, but it's the exact same controller. Down to the buttons and everything. I'm trying to remember. I'd have to look it up to see if it had the same design. But I remember the sticks. I remember the button layout. I remember the way the shoulder buttons looked. I've, I've covered. Wow. So what that tells you is a lot of these companies, um, they get them made from all the same... Chinese or yeah, Chinese company it says it right here. Whoops, made in China, distributed by Walmart. Okay, so a lot of them. I, I to be honest, I didn't even notice, but yeah, they all use the same old, same whatnot, and then just license them out or distribute them all the same branding and the same everything to multiple companies. So does not disconnect. Standard USB, quick start guide. Now, one thing I do want to see. Okay, yeah, you plug it into the dock. Just, okay, okay. Right. How do you connect it to your Switch Lite? Connect your audio. All right. Fine print. You can't use this on a Switch Lite. You can't. You'd have to get a dock. You need a dock. So yes, this is uh, this is wrong. You can't use this on a switch light. All right. With that being said, now this is opened. Let's jump to the. Oof, let's jump to the testing. Okay. So if you guys are wondering what game I'm playing, I'm testing it out on Crisis for the Switch. Why, you may ask? Because uh, when a game, or I should say, a controller says that it supports the motion controls, the gyroscopic controls in a game, I usually go with this one. And as a first-person shooter, it really takes care of everything. Now, I bet you're asking if you've watched some of my other uh, box opening and testings and whatnot, why I don't do it with everyone? Because not all of them have those extra features. So when they say they have those extra features, this is a good one to test it on. And uh, just to reiterate something I said in the first part, I know I opened up something like this back in the past, but I've done hundreds. And the one that I had on the top of my head that I was thinking about was not the same one. It looked similar, but it wasn't the same one. But with that being said, it reminds me of one that I already did a number of years ago. I just can't remember, but all right. Buttons are a little squishy. Everything seems to be fine in terms of feeling. Okay. The, the sticks are actually really fine. Now let's turn on the gyro controls. Options. 
game settings. No, it should be under. Ooh, the delay. Look at that. Amos's crosshair. I don't care about difficulty because that's not what we're here for. Controller settings. Invert. Gyroscope on. Invert. Okay, gyroscope is on, right? Invert. Okay. So, it says it has motion controls. None. None. Uh, let's see if I press one of the buttons on here. Nope. Because there's a there's a button on here. Oh, it's a turbo button. So, turbo. So, turbo button's pretty simple. You just hold the button that you want to press. And press the turbo button. That's it. So, hold the turbo, press the button. And to clear it, vice versa. So, there's no gyro. There's no gyro. You see that? No gyro. Uh, it says gyroscope is on. Uh, yeah. So, jump. Let's see how it feels while I'm shooting something. Just let me find something. Just... Little feels it's a little slow. I want to call it lag. I just feel like it's um it's slow. Might have to turn up the sensitivity. Yeah. It just feels like it's um not 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 that sensitive. I I'm not gonna call it lag because all the buttons seem to be fine. So you might just want to turn up the controller sensitivity depending on the game that you're playing. Everything else is very quick. I killed the crab. Oh. I killed a couple crabs there. Okay, so ultimately, it's not that bad. I'm not going to say it's terrible. I'm going to say it does not have gyro. The rumble's actually not that bad. It's funny. Now I'm not feeling any rumble. When I booted up the, the game, there was rumble. Now the rumble stopped. Let's check... Um, the options whoops let's check the options and see I'm pretty sure I have the rumble on um, vibration is on yeah so when I plugged it in it, it rumbled fine it does have rumble for some reason it's just not working in this one neither are the um, the gyro controls so yeah let's let's check something Okay, so what I did was I rebooted the game, uh, closed it out, see if maybe there was a, a, a glitch within the software. It still doesn't work. So I don't know what to tell you about the gyroscope, but motion does not work. Uh, and this is, like I said, this is a game I test with every controller that has a gyroscope, and uh, it, it works just fine. So it's not working and neither is the rumble it's weird because the rumble picks and chooses when it wants to work uh yeah it's a walmart controller you get what you pay for is what it is so can i recommend this 16 dollars if you need something 
Everything, uh, everything else works fine. Every other aspect works great. Uh, just adjust the sensitivity on the sticks and I think it'll be fine. Uh, maybe the rumble will work in yours. Maybe the gyroscope will work in yours. Maybe I just got a bum controller. Am I going to buy another one? No. But uh, right out the box, just, hey, they just got to the store, picked it up, test it out. Gyro isn't working. Rumble works when it wants to. That should tell you something. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully this helped you out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share this video. And like we always say. Be legendary. Thanks again.